I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Day of the Dead cat. Two fingers at the top in the center put a dot. From that dot going towards the left I draw a curved line down in and a little curved line. Come back to the dot going towards the right curve line down in little curve line connect. Inside, we're going to mimic that line and draw it all over again. Skinny mini, all the way, down, around, and connect. I come on the right hand side and I draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. On the left hand side, curve line out, curve line in, connect. I go back to the right and I draw a curve line in, zigzag, 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 connect. And now on the left I draw a curve line in, zigzag, 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 connect on the left. I come right here in the center and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. On the right hand side I draw a big curve line on top. Come back on the right, big curve line, connect. Come on the left, big curve line on the left, big curve line, connect. I come right here in the center and I draw a flat oval. In the middle, I draw a curve line to the left, connect. Come back to the center, curve line, connect to the right. I come all the way down on the left and I draw a slightly curved line on the left, slightly curved line on the right. Come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curved line out, straight line down and I'm going to leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, curve line out, straight line down and leave that floating. Come on the inside right here and we're going to draw a curve line, come back to the left, we draw a curve line down, straight line on the left, curve line down, straight line on the right. Come back to the left, straight line out, curve line down, curve line up, straight line, straight line down, curve line out, straight line, curve line in, straight line down, curve line out, straight curve line in, straight line down and leave that floating. Come back on the right, we're going to mimic what we did on the left, straight line out, curve line, curve line in, straight line down, curve line down, straight line, curve line down, straight line, and leave that floating. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a slightly curved line over, connect. Now in this space right on the left I'm going to draw a curved line, straight line down, curved line, straight line up on the left. Come on the right hand side we're going to draw a little curved line, straight line down, curved line, straight line up, connect. Down at the bottom we're going to draw on the left a flat oval, on the right a flat oval. If you have room, baby circle, baby circle, three, four, on the left, baby circle, baby circle, three, four, on the right. Now come back to the left and we can make this line connect on the left, this line, curve line connect on the right and a slightly curved line in the center. Okay? Now I go all the way back up and I'm going to put little baby circles on the top 
little baby circles on the bottom, on the left. Come on the right, little baby circles on the right, little baby circles on the bottom. Okay? Last thing, come over here on this line and we're just going to draw little straight lines all the way across and up. Little straight lines all the way over. Okay? I think that is all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the cat is pretty easy because he's all black and white. So this section on the right should all be black. This section on the left should also all be black. I come in and I'm going to do my upside down triangle, my flat oval, and these two spaces are going to be black. And my outlining skinny mini line is also going to be black. Take your time all the way around. Now, I come down to the body parts in every section around the main skeletal part is all going to be black. All the way up and around. Now, I always say this, if you are coloring so hard your hand hurts, you're coloring way too hard. If you want to color in sessions, that's not a bad idea. You don't have to do it all at one time because you want it to look nice. And that's basically it on the cat. Now what I did was I took different colors and decided to do the background with stripes. So I did blue-green. And you can pick your own colors. These are the ones I picked all the way across. I picked pink. So this gives me a pop of color on basically what is a black and white drawing all the way across. And I did green, a light green. Now, like I said, you can pick your own color combinations. These were the ones I chose for my Day of the Dead cat. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my Day of the Dead cat, all colored in, ready for the festivities. Okay, bye-bye.